lines and miserable travelers. The friendly skies have been anything but this week. Yeah, thousands of travelers were stuck at airports yesterday all across the country. And the latest numbers from the flight tracker Flight Aware show more than 3,300 flights are delayed in the U.S. right now. 843 flights have been canceled. We sent 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie to TF Green in Warwick to see what the impact has been there. Erica? Well, there really have been minimal impacts here at TF Green Airport in Warwick over the last two days. Just a handful of delays, similar to what we see on the status board right now, marked in yellow. And even though the airport itself really has not borne the brunt of the cancellations, delays, and interruptions that we've seen nationwide, it doesn't mean that the travelers that are passing through here have gotten off that easy. The last couple of days have been absolutely crazy, like the wildest ride ever. By the time we caught up with this school group at TF Green this morning, you could tell they were ready to get off that wild ride. It's really exhausting. And get onto a plane headed toward their home in California. I just like want to go home, like brush my teeth and just go to sleep. Our cameras were rolling when they were finally called to the ticket counter two days after they were supposed to land back on the West Coast. They became part of the thousands of air travelers nationwide stranded since Monday. We were on the tarmac in, at um, JFK for three hours, stuck in our airplane. We had to take six Ubers back to um, Manhattan, where we thought we had a hotel room and we didn't have a hotel room. Then they found out that TF Green was their only hope to get home before the end of the week. So yesterday we had a three hour um, bus ride um, to um, Providence so that we could board the flights this morning, which are already delayed. Severe thunderstorms being blamed for canceling or delaying about 5,000 domestic flights yesterday and about half that by mid-morning today. I, I mean, I, I did not anticipate that, that there would be a ripple effect like today. Yeah. Barun Biswas and his wife also among those delayed in Warwick today. Oh, it's delayed by close to three hours and we'll take it. <laughs> it's better than being totally canceled, right? Some airlines blaming the FAA, saying they've historically been able to manage severe weather. The feds admit being understaffed and say they're currently training 3,000 air traffic controllers. And all of this is happening going into the 4th of July weekend that AAA says is going to be a record-breaking one with more than 4 million Americans expected to fly to their holiday weekend getaway. So make sure if you're one of them, you check with your airlines or the airport before you head out the door. That's the latest in Warwick. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.